but he's on six at the moment. Here's Sloan. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. He joins the party. Won't need that black jacket anymore, Rory. Let's just check out the fit. Still got the price tag on it. Hang on. Oh, not too bad. It's reasonable quality. There we go. Very nice. Rory Sloan, congratulations. Thanks, Don. Stay up here. Stay up here. Stay up here. Stay up here. Rory, wonderful performance and a, uh, a very nice looking medal that you have won there as well. Mate, as we said, look, tough season. You would have preferred to be playing tonight. Um, but we did see some really, really positive signs, as we said. So you must feel really confident and optimistic, despite probably the disappointment still there from last week. Yeah, absolutely. And that's the first time I've seen footage from the Sydney game. And it, um, I know, I was getting really hot and flustered there watching it. And it just it made my blood boil a little bit because uh, myself, like a lot of my teammates, know that that wasn't the standard we can play at. And we, we showed throughout the whole year uh, what sort of level we could play at. And... Um, yeah, we'll be looking to generate that again for the whole season next year and, and look to build on it and play a more consistent year because um, we had a great year and as everyone's mentioned, we, we definitely improved and I think the, the way we're travelling is certainly upwards and um, yeah, I, the group we've got now, I know it's burning inside everyone and this has been my eighth season here and unfortunately I've listened to Chappie every year um, mention how we're disappointed um, with our finish and and that's just the facts, but um, I know this group, it certainly burns inside us uh, how we played on the weekend um, against Sydney and uh, we'll, be, we'll be certainly looking to build on it next year. No doubt everyone in the room is happy to hear that, of course, that it is burning and you would expect that. Um, mate, of course, uh, as you said, you've got your wedding coming up in a few weeks. We're going to get you to thank some people in just a moment. But, of course, because that little indiscretion uh, late in the season, does that mean that you're not allowed to go to the Brownlow medal next week? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, yeah, I, I won't be heading along. Um, mm. There'll be a few guys that will take our place there. Tom and myself have been going there for the last few years and performed quite well, mind you. Um, mm. So a few guys have got to step up to the plate, I think. But, um, oh, look, mate, that, that doesn't fuss me in the slightest at all. There is one thing, though. Your, um, your fiance is still going. <laughs> yeah, she's still got a ticket somehow. She uh, No, she's... Got a great job working for uh, Channel 7, hosting the red car carpet, actually. So I can sit back and watch her for once, and um, I'll, I'll enjoy that. Um, yeah, it's going to be great to watch. Beautiful stuff, Rory. Um, and also, too, obviously, the wedding's not far away. I think everyone, on behalf of everyone in the room, they wish uh, you and Belinda all the best at the wedding. We hope it's a great one. You have a terrific time in Byron Bay, I believe you are. Watch out for all the uh, paps that will be there taking some photos trying to do that. There'll be someone there trying to get a hold of you guys. But congratulations, mate. A terrific individual season and a great season seeing the club go forward. I'm sure there's some people you'd love to thank. Rory Sloan. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> That's very nice of you ladies up there holding that sign. Sorry, I just noticed that then. Um, no, there are a few people I'd like to thank and um, the whole of the Adelaide Football Club is one to start with. I mean, as I mentioned before, I've been here now for eight years and um, this group we've got at the moment is so young and, and driven. It's not just, as I mentioned before, the players, it's the coaching staff, it's um, the physios, masseurs, everyone involved uh, are so young and, and driven to helping us achieve the ultimate success. And that excites me so much because um, it's, I think, the first time I've seen it, us as a whole collective are working so hard to achieve what we want to achieve. And um, that certainly gets gets me so excited for the years to come. Um, so again, I'd like to thank the whole of the Adelaide Football Club uh, for just playing their role and, um, and for, of course, uh, giving me the opportunity to play over here. Uh, next, I'd like to thank the coaches, um, Don and Scotty Campriali in particular, who uh, I've done a, mass, a massive amount of work with this year. Um, I mentioned Don's created such an enjoyable working environment, one that I think's um, created such 
Oh, it's such a good learning environment for our whole playing group and one we're certainly going to benefit off in years to come. To my teammates, um, I love playing with you all so much and you're the reason I play football and there's always on, there's always in successful years of uh, footy clubs, there's always guys that uh, will get certain accolades and, and awards throughout the season and I'm uh, very humbled and, and lucky enough to accept this one up here, but um, the whole reason I play footy and I'm sure the whole reason all our teammates play footy is so we can, uh, so we can win a premiership and uh, that's all that drives me. That's the sole purpose that drives me to play football and um, I'm going to really cherish winning a flag with you guys in the years to come. Uh, to my family, my mum, dad, brother, sister, um, I love you guys so much. The support I've had, I like... A lot of guys who have moved from interstate, um, just continual support. They pop over every weekend. Um, we'll always come visit, and uh, I'm looking forward to celebrating with you guys in the next couple of weeks, especially over the wedding. Um, and moving to that, my lovely fiance Belinda, uh, thank you again for all your support. Um, this year's certainly been massive for us, and we'd had it planned the whole year to go straight from a grand final uh, and celebrate through to a wedding, which which could have been interesting for myself in particular. I know Tomo was going to get me there, but he said he didn't know quite in what state. Um, but for your support throughout the whole year, uh, thank you again so much. Um, and just a final message to the fans as well, who I thank before for all your support, but uh, we're coming, we're building, and uh, we're, we're not going to rest until, as I mentioned, we've won a flag and um, we'll get there, don't worry. So thank you again, guys, cheers. Congratulations to Malcolm Blight, medal winner, Rory Sloan. Fantastic. Great stuff there. Now, what we need to do is propose a toast to you, Rory. And just before we get to do that, we're going to have a quick look at... Uh, Rob, are you around? Where's Rob Chapman? Oh, Rob, if you'd like to make your way up, you are going to propose the toast. We'll get the champagne organised, sir, if you'd like to do that. Do you want to have a quick look at the top ten leaderboard while we do that? as we get that organised. Have we got that there, guys? And we'll just check exactly how things finished up with the voting. In just a moment. No, we'll get Rob to propose the toast first up. Let's do that All right. straight away. Um, ladies and gentlemen, at the start of the night, uh, I said our list is in good shape. And I think evidence of that was throughout the evening when you saw all of the players that came up and won various awards, um, you know that uh, the list is in good shape, as I, I said. Nothing epitomises it more than this year's 2016 club champion. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'd ask if you'd be upstanding. We can all propose a toast to Rory Sloan, club champion 2016. Congratulations. Congratulations to Rory. Well done, mate. And as we're doing that, the top 10 leaderboard has just popped up. So we can see how things finish there. Rory ahead of uh, Eddie Betts. Tom Lynch, his great year, as we mentioned a little earlier, finished in the top three. Daniel Talia, Taylor Walker. Brady Smith, Matty Crouch had a great year. Kyle Hardigan down back. Charlie Cameron and also Josh Jenkins rounding off the top 10 there with 167 votes. What uh, a wonderful performance. I'd now like to ask Matt Tannock, who is the regional sales manager for Toyota Central Region to make a presentation to Rory. Matt. Rory, if you'd like to come over here, we'll make sure that we get some uh, nice photos there. Again, Toyota, as we heard a little earlier from Rob, uh, 1991 they've been at the club, involved a terrific partnership there. Congratulations. Well done to Matt from Toyota. Nice bottle of Grange. Two bottles of Grange. There we go. Well done, mate. Again, and uh, a big thank you to Toyota for their wonderful partnership throughout the year. Uh, we've got something else for you, Rory, to go with that too. What about this? A wonderful caricature. These are done uh, every year for the winner. George Aldridge puts these together. Great to have you with us, George. Let's have a look at this picture here. George, pop out into the middle there. Let's have a look at uh, the picture there. Fantastic.
Well done. And I would like to ask uh, Roger Drake from Foodland, of course, who have also been involved with the club right from the start in 1991, if he would like to make his way up to the stage. And also, let's invite back the runner-up to the Malcolm Blight medal, Mr. Eddie Betts. If you'd like to make your way up to the stage, Eddie. Let's pop out in the middle, mate. And we've got a, uh, a gift for you, Eddie, from Foodland. Roger, again, thank you for your wonderful support of the club since its inception there. Congratulations. Well, there they are. Our champion, club champion there, Malcolm Blight, medal winner, Rory Sloan. Runner up there to Eddie Betts. Of course, Tommy Lynch came in third there.